Welcome everyone. Today I'm talking to the owner of the smartest home in the world, Ian Mercer. Ian has a long track record of shipping successful technology products across a wide spectrum of applications, from consumer to corporate. He is an entrepreneur, an intrapreneur, an investor, a respected manager, and some would say a futurist, although he hates that term. This is something I've been working on for probably 20 years. Um, I got into home automation many, many years ago and couldn't find anything that did what I wanted. So I started building my own and it's grown over the years. And it's been a living experiment. It's been an experiment both technically, what can I do? Um, an experiment as to the future, what's coming in sensor technology and AI, but also a social experiment as to what's acceptable to a family, what do people like, what features do they like, and what features don't work. And um, some things that don't work out, uh, one thing that doesn't work is alerts. You know, every app these days wants to give you an alert, garage door open, garage door closed. That gets tiring very quickly. A system needs to be not in your face, it needs to be there supporting your daily life, but not interfering in it. So I would, I would say that's one lesson. And a third one, the third one is that technology is still changing very rapidly. Um, many of these sensors and uh, devices that I've used are obsolete now. I've, I've thrown them out. And uh, so being careful not to lock yourself into an ecosystem that's going to die. Uh, one challenge of scaling into large projects is, is the sheer volume of data. Uh, so yeah, the volume so, of data, reliability and batteries. So um, you know, no sensor is reliable, as you know from the check engine light in your car. Most of the time when it comes on, it's a sensor failure, not a car failure. The house is the interface. Your interface is when you walk on a sensor, when you open a door, when you move in a room, you're instructing the house what to do just by moving through the space. So it, what I've done over the years is adopted this approach where if you do something manually, if you push a light switch, you change the thermostat, you're in control for a while. And then gradually, over time, the system takes back control. So over time, understanding what state the, sort of the family is in and how the house should behave accordingly uh, is a challenge for this because most machine learning is, oh, it's this pattern that's repeated over time. It's going to be that pattern going forward. Well, it's not. Life's, life situations change. How do we save cost? How do we improve comfort? Uh, increasingly, what can we do about CO2? So which, what should I change to improve, to reduce the CO2 impact of the building as a whole? Um, and security. So those are sort of the four, the four pillars I sort of put it, these apps into, that they should provide all of them. Having built a system that automatically turns all the lights off, I've trained my kids to never turn lights off. <laughs> so if you go stay somewhere, every light will be on in the house because at home, the house does that for you. So you have to be, there's this sort of double-edged sword to sustainability. It's like people who get electric cars end up driving more because it's you know, less impact. <laughs>